Well, I find myself in a difficult position because I'm kind of aware in America, and I'm not American, as you can tell, that, um, <laughs> that the, 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 the separation of church and state is, is deeply ingrained in the Amer American politic, and rightly so. And um, John Kennedy, uh, when challenged on his Catholicism, rightly said this is a separate matter um, and as long as I don't bring my Catholicism into policy, you've nothing to complain about. And this is, this is very, very, very laudable. But going back to the doctor, the hypothetical doctor and the, and the astronomer, if you knew that one of the candidates that you're contemplating voting for believed that in the 19th century, a man called Joseph Smith dug up some golden tablets. <laughs> which, he, which he translated and then conveniently lost. <laughs> and translated moreover, although a 19th century man translated them into 17th century English <laughs> and lots and lots of other... And more, more importantly, unlike some of the... I mean, we also agree that the biblical stories are equally ridiculous, but the difference is we don't know they were written by known con men, but in fact he was yeah. a yeah. known felon. Yes, um, that, that is true. Um, and, and so if, if the person you're contemplating voting for believes all that, believes that the Garden of Eden was in Missouri, <laughs> believes that Native Americans are the lost ten tribes of Israel, believes that Jesus visited North America. I mean, these beliefs are barking mad. <laughs> They, so, they, con they, contradict, they, they contradict everything that's known historically, archaeologically. They, they, they contradict science. They contradict history. Now, is it a, a fair defense for such a candidate to say, oh, well, don't worry, I won't let my beliefs interfere with my policies? <laughs> well, maybe he, maybe he won't, but do you want to vote for somebody who's capable of holding in his head such unrealistic nonsense. I mean, do you want a president who, who believes t palpably foolish things, e even if he promises that he won't actually let them... Um, it's just it, back to the problem of the doctor and the, and the astronomer so, again. So, yeah, well,